place in um, in the landscape and involved um, and involved uh, Bonyolfi. This is a short clip from the film I made in '72 called Landscape of Fire. Uh, 
near the floor by the two seats on the left, and then rising just above the head of the figure and going off um, up above the other seats. Can you see that? That's, um, that's, a, that's a view of the slope of the, my, my plane, which is almost zero of the, of the, of the, near the floor. It's a foot from the floor at one end. Six foot in the middle and 12 foot um, at the other end. What that means is that this is a grid for the dancers to work with it. It's an armature for their work. And so they'll be below the grid at one part of the space and inside it's another part. Um, and these are two, I took a couple of um, rehearsal shots a month or so back, just to give you an idea of scale. It's like, it's a, you can see a line of uh, five light bulbs there, uh, with dancers behind, and you can, they're working in the very corner of the space. Um, and you can see, get some idea of the angle of slope. Of course, this is a completely unrealistic shot, because um, in fact, we'll be in a black box until the light, the lights will be, the light bulbs will be providing the illumination. So, uh, of course, you wouldn't see it like this, but it does give you an idea of the kind of structure. Um, and I included this one, uh, now you can see almost the whole floor in front of you, so it's as if you're sitting on one side near a corner, and you can see two rows of lights reaching, going, sloping upwards. What I think this Im image shows rather well, I think, is that um, Jonah's choreography has to allow for um, uh, people sitting in, in the, off in different directions. It's, it's, he's got to speak to four sides. And um, um, this, uh, this is a rather typical situation. I see it very cinematic. The dancer in the front is presenting this group of spectators over this side with a close-up. And um, the dancers at the back for this particular spectator are, are a long shot. But you, on the other side, it's reversed. And so there's a very interesting way in which the choreography is, is playing with um, quite cinematic ideas uh, um, within, within the field of the, of the square. Um, so uh, having pretty much established uh, this is what I was going to do, um, I then had to myself take into account uh, that I had um, seated audience all over the place, that I had to since they weren't going to come to my life this time, I'm going to take it to them. And so um, I began to explore ways to, um, uh, to, to animate that potential grid of 36 points of light. And there are various things I got really interested in that were single. I mean, I'm drawing just lines here, but I'm, that's in my, I'm just connecting up six dots. So I'm playing around with the way in which I want to change direction within the grid, take the grid, take the illumination over to one side, then move to another, and turn through 90 degrees and go elsewhere. And um, I set to then in earnest. This is my, the, um, I set up my own little armature of points like this, a little 11 by 17 sheet of paper, and just took a magic marker to it, and I began to uh, take it from the beginning. Now, having seen the fire, Film, you'll actually understand this quite well. If you just start on the top, quad, uh, top uh, left, you know, we start with one light bulb coming on, just fades up. And then um, 12 seconds later, the second one comes on, and, uh, another 12 seconds on the third one, and fourth one, and fifth one, and so on, right across the top row. And if you follow this along the second row, you'll see there's a second row of lights forming. And then by the middle of the bottom row, the second line, the second diagram in the bottom row, you'll see there's now two complete lines of light. 24, um, sorry, 12 um, bars. Um, now this, this is the way this thing works. Um, you'll see in the next drawing, there's a third row starting. But the first bulb in the original row has disappeared. Basically, the rule of motion for these lights, for choreographing these lights, is that the the, the, um, the leading light comes on at the same time that the furthest away light goes off. By that means, I can um, move those lights across the whole grid. I'm just going to show you this quite rapidly. But you can see that the the, um, the the avenues of light that are illuminated are moving across the grid, uh, and then uh, on this page they begin to change direction. So these are called um, parallel pairs with 90 degree transfer. 
And you see by the bottom row, we now have um, lines that are at 90 degrees of each other. And then finally, moving across that direction until we get down to nothing. Each of these movements begins in the dark and it ends in the dark. Um, now I'll race through these. Um, that whole set I just showed you, all the motion, which whatever angle it is, is moving uphill. Um, the next uh, movement is the same thing exactly, a mirror image, but now it's moving downhill. Now, physically in space, that's a huge difference. 12 foot up versus one foot up in the air. Um, physically it's a very big, big shift. Um, then I have two other movements, one of which uses pairs of um, parallel pairs of like the cross one. Also this one moves uphill, and the final one moves downhill. 